Hey guys, welcome back to Stone Block 2 with Super Turtle. Guys, look what I've done. I've did some things. Didn't it look great? I added two more rooms. And then I put all these accents everywhere. I changed up all of this. Mm -mm -mm. I think it looks great. So I'm going to bring you in here, show you the stuff I've also done off camera. I made ourselves some lava production. Just nothing, nothing too crazy. You know, just some superheating elements here making some lava. And then over here... We have our booth for Obsidian and for um, Skystone. So, yeah. Very cool, huh? Very neato. So what I do is just take that. And it's and it's currently uh, out of making Skystone. We need to change that. Because um, we need to put the deuce in. And that's how I'm making it. So pretty cool. I also added this big boy. Look at it. It's got... Uh, 137 million RF stored, which will be nothing when we upgrade all of those to the, 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 what are these? The vibrant capacitor banks. Yeah. Cause these hold 25 million each. So yeah, it's going to be a lot more, about five times as much. Uh, so yeah, uh, today I will probably... I'm going to do the, these uh, little areas off camera, you know, where I punch these down and add our, our production. But I want to show you guys. Uh, oh, yeah, I also cleared out all of this stuff here, too. There was like a, there's a, a big wall of things. But uh, in here, this is all the materials we got. We have 1,400 diamonds, 20,000, or 20,000, 2,075 emeralds. Yeah, so we're going to have these big beams going up. And then these are going to link underneath the path. So all of it will be one humongous storage bank. And it's going to be great. Um, over here, I do plan on putting the, um, what you call it? Putting the uh, the thing. This is where our reactor is going to go. Sorry. I'm going to go all the way up to the top. Not going to be very big. Uh, but I do plan on having a room off here. So it will be diagonal. Look at the mini map over here. Let's see. Yeah, so we're going to have a room like right around here and right around here. These are going to be square rooms. Uh, they're going to have different things. Uh, so this is going to be a power gen room. Uh, right now it's being treated as like the lava room. Over here is going to be the processing room. Now, <clears throat> with a dome like this, I, I couldn't think of a good way to put all of our auto crafting. So I've decided to go underneath. We're going to have like a kind of a glass floor, like looking points on it in the corners. And all of our auto crafting will be under here. So I'm going to chisel this thing out uh, quite a bit down with the builder, uh, which we can actually do that now. Uh, so let's go ahead and get the builder. Our bad boy here. And then we're going to grab... We're going to grab our trash can. Handy dandy trash can -o. And then our flux guy. This guy here. Cool. So we're going to put this, uh, let's see, the middle so right here, right here. Yes, so, so we will put these here and these here. Perfect. And we will put the trash can on top like so. Beautiful. It's beautiful. Okay, so this still has the correct dimensions. But we're going to go ahead and make a oop, cylinder. Yeah. Okay. So let's go like negative 10. Yeah, let's try that out. Oh, that's going to be really deep. <laughs> that might have been a little too deep. Um, oh, well, I'll leave it. It's just so nice and quick. Look at that. How much power is this jet or thing taking up? So that is as fast as it can go. And it's uh, probably draining a lot of our power over there. Wow, I might I think I, I made that a, a few too deep. Oh We'll admire it from here. We're just gonna look at it. Mmm. Cool beans. So, all right. Uh, yeah. That's a bit deep. It's pretty deep. I kind of like it. Weep. Um, <laughs> we've got a lot of room. Uh, room is not going to be an issue. Uh, I have put a layer of 
Skystone all the way around because that's the that's going to be the common theme. Uh, I actually think I would like to have these kind of come here like this, kind of come through. I think that might be a cool look. <clears throat> maybe, maybe. I feel like this hallway is a little bit longer. Actually, no, it's probably spot on. Yeah, I think it's spot on. Okay, I was wrong. I was wrong. I just like I like this block, this thing. It's very neat. Okay, so it kind of kind of shrinks down over here. And then we come off into here. Now, auto crafting. This is what this area is all about. Um, let me turn on hover again. Because we're going to punch a hole right here. And this is going to go all the way over. And now I'm going to I'm gonna come back to you guys after I, I get all the way to the center there. But we're doing this because this is where we're going to run all of our cables. All right, so we're back. I punched the hole out, so this is going to be our little uh, runway all the way over. And we're going to do this on each each side, so we don't have to worry about any of that crazy. But look at the look at the map over here. That looks really cool. That looks awesome. Okay, so I don't know. Should we? I think this will be okay. We're we're going to take all of this out, and this is going to be the central hub. Now, each of these, I'm going to end up making this into like um, like so. Each of these is going to be a different color. Each of the corner ones here are going to go out to the storage. And so these will be just specifically for the little sections they're going out for. They're going to be on their like little sub-networks. So I don't know if you could even call it a sub-network. I don't know. I'll have to talk to Narragath. He's a smart guy about that stuff. But yeah, I don't, think it's, I don't think it's even a sub-network because it's technically all connected to one. Maybe. I don't know. It's going to be its own little section. It's going to be a different color. So... <clears throat> Uh, I have, I don't know if I showed you guys, but I have put the, uh, we're going to put our storage over in, on these, on each of them. And I don't know where, but I think right up here is a good spot. Um, we're going to kind of come up here like this. And then here we're going to recess it. And we're going to have a specific type of color in there. And that way these are all going to be color coordinated. Um, or I might just make the whole thing color coordinated. Let's have a look. Let's let's give it a look here. So we have these cool lamps that oop that I want to use. So these are the ones I want to use here. Um, let's see, blue, green. I don't know. Could you make like a light blue, a cyan? We could put a cyan one there. Um, cyan dye. Ooh, ooh, it's not difficult at all to make. <clears throat> Wait, no, stop it. We just need cyan dye. There we go. Okay. Ooh, there goes all of our cat guy. Oh, well. So to make this. Yeah, we're going to make it all. We are going to make it all. Okay, we'll use this now. <gasps> Doing. Oh, yeah, we made that already. Okay, good. So redstone torches. Cool. Okay, so these are inverted because they were inverted. That's that's how he could see him when he was on top of it. Remember that, okay? It'll be important for later on. So we could do that, or we could make this whole thing that. Let's get let's give it let's, let's give it a look, huh? You, you know you know you want to do it. Yeah, you know you know you want to. I forgot, Skystone is tough to break. We're going to break all of it here. Oh, not that. Oh, kind of that. Didn't plan on breaking that, but it's, it's okay. Okay, here we go. So we're going to have to uh, change all of those. But like, if we were to, if we were to go one more in... I made it like that, and it went all the way. Around. Let's let's give it a look. If we don't like it, we'll just throw it away. Okie doke. So we need the more cacti. Cacti. What is my? What is my? Yes, I have you. Okay, so cool. Check this out. Check it out. We got rid of this thing. I go like this. I don't know if I showed this stuff yet. We have snad down there. Always on. Oh yeah. Look at that. We just get our cacti. Great. It is a maze sauce. 
Let me just do this for a while and we'll come back later or something like that. All right, people. So this is what we came up with. Um, I don't know. I think I might leave it. Um, I like the significance of it, but I do want to show you guys what I've decided to do over here. So I kind of made it look like the um, just like over time, the grass is kind of swept on over into here. And then this is what we're doing. So these are going to be glass. This is going to be our look into uh, all of our processing. So this can be a lot of the auto crafting for applied energistics, like majority of it. Uh, but I do want to have in some just normal crafting here. And then we're also going to label, um, I think, six different ones that are bulk crafting. And they will have, it'll be an ME interface with a molecular assembler on each side. That way it can like super craft. And then there's going to be like a few uh, that don't have that stuff like that. So <clears throat> what do we need to uh, get into uh, advanced auto crafting? Well, for one, we're going to need to run a dense cable out there, but we're not going to worry about that today. Um, I would like to set up a few of these today before we go, uh, just because it's going to help out a lot. And there we go. I want to do 20 of those. Can we get 20 of these? Oh, well, you got 22 of those. Cool. So we can go ahead. Let's make some ME interfaces. Five, and then we're going to make five of these. Perfect. Okay, so that's all I wanted to make for today. Uh, let's go ahead over here. We're going to run a cable out here. Um, but we're just going to make this super basic. Uh, we're also going to need to run... I'm going to go like this. We're going to run a cable straight down. So the key is, you know, we make this base look like function really well, but we also need to make it look like out of this world. So what we're going to do is we're going to this molecular assembler all right and so we're gonna basically this is the the grid pattern we're gonna have so it's, this isn't the most efficient one like you should have see how if we we're referring to this as an ME interface right it, it has two connections that it can craft it right like for this one this one has four so one two three four but then also has this face here and then the face on the back now our bulk storage it's going to have each one of these faces here so we're going to need to make an ME interface terminals like somewhere in here um, probably like right on the floor over there like we have but this is going to monitor all of our ME interfaces so let's go ahead and grab a uh, dense some dense cable that's what we're going to need to run over here so how much of this do we have we do not have enough ah we're gonna to need to make some more cool just put that back in there we can make some more dense cable good so dense cable is gonna need this gonna need that gonna need some more of this can we make some more of that i don't want to make it like this um let's see let's just grab some of you some of you and where's our charged Here's our charge so we can make we can make buckets of this literally buckets okay so let's grab some water we're gonna need to put this on oh wait look at this we have it on the ground already cool so let's go boop oh shoot you dang screwed up why did we get an ender pearl in there it's not auto harvesting that is it it might be it might be, or I just, oh, it might have, might have grabbed the one I, I missed on the ground. Cool. So as you can tell, we're not even done with uh, this stuff. I'm going to have to do that off camera. Off camera. So put, oh, I'll put them all down here like so. And they're going to fuse together and be like, blah, 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 blah. Oh, we're going to grab them all. Cool beans. So now we got more of these. We're going to make 24 of those. Why? Why are you like this? Oof, we are running low, boys. We need to automate that setup. Which we'll probably will do today. Okay, so we can make some more of these. I uh, can't make that much more. We can't, can't make that much more. Dang it. Uh, we might be able to run these out. I don't know if we can or not. Let's figure it out. Now, what is the best way to get string? So I don't want to make a, a like a wool farm or whatnot. Um, hemp, spider web sapling. Yep, we're gonna be making one of those. Okay, cool. So let's go on over here. Get under, and 
Cool thing is we get to replace this stupid cable. And we get to run this smart cable. Yeah. I do not think we're going to be able to make it down there. Dang, man. Man. Oh, we got we need a lot more. Jeez, Louise. Okay. Um Let me I'm going to make a whole bunch of the dense cable off camera. I'll be back as soon as I got more. I thought I had more stuff in my inventory. Sorry, guys. All right, ladies and gentlemen, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, I have made some a little bit of progress. Uh, we came all the way down here. We only got seven left. What I had to do was get our sag mill going, and uh, I forgot I didn't have a good sag mill, so I made a better sag mill here. And then I also put these vibrant uh, alloy grinding balls, and the recipe for these is just that, and you get 24 of them. But if you look here, you get uh, the main output is 175%. Bonus output is 135 So we were able to grind up a lot of the webs we had, and we got a lot of like or we got a lot of string from it, and that's what we're doing. And I've also got these uh, spider web saplings set up, and we're getting much more string now. Uh, so we managed to get all the way down. We're gonna need a lot more string. So I'm gonna go AFK here off camera for like a few days. But we've made it. We made it all the way to here. And boom. Wait, we gotta go. We gotta make this look right. We gotta go down one. Boom, we've done it. Auto crafting, yay. And we've also set these up. I'm gonna put a, uh, my pulverizers over here with uh, the ME interfaces right here. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Come off like this. I don't think we actually have enough channels, so we may have to run two different channels over here, which, which will be a little difficult, but we'll make it to work. We will make it to work. It won't be that difficult. We might just have to run a one and a two over there, different colors for different things. But let's go ahead. We'll grab a pulverizer. I don't have one. We have this one. Yay. We can automate it. Cool. Grab that guy. Uh, we'll automate all of this too. All of this stuff you see here will be automated. May, maybe not the, the, the Ferni because that requires too much stuff. Um, But do we have enough strength to actually make more? Uh, a few more. Um, let's go here like so. We make one more dense cable. Uh, how much string do we got? Oh, yeah. We have enough. I think we have enough. We're going to find out. We're going to make some more. Total of 12. Dense cable up here. So we got three. There's a chance we may have to connect it with a normal cable. Let's get some cable. So just in case we have to connect it, like it won't attach to the uh, dense cable right away. We'll just have it just in case. Okay. So let's, let's get on back here. Okay. So does this connect? Sure does. Perfect. Bam. Now we got that set up and we don't have any power over here. Um, I have to fix that. Cool. So we got that over there. Um, let's come on up here. Cool thing is we can make, um, cool stuff yeah we can make cool stuff we're gonna grab one of these we're gonna grab some conduit why oh, are not conduit we're, uh, yeah energy flux uh, energy conduit that's the thing that's the word i'm gonna put a uh, false block in the corners over here so that way we can access this uh down here after it is all set up so yeah, what we're gonna do is we're just going oh hello hello gabna i'm gonna mine these blocks out we're going to go down like this, and this is where the power is going to go. Yeah. That's the last one. Uh, so we'll run a conduit all the way here. Really just need to hover, honestly. Okay, so there we go. And then up here at the tippity toppity. We're going to put this guy. Yep. And that's generating power. Cool. And we can just cover that up. We may need to like put this guy up here, actually. Let's go ahead and mine him. Put him here so we can cover it. Like so. And that way, that way we're getting power. Cool. So then we're also going to need to run another conduit 
back here so that when the items are done, we are able to get them out. Because as it sits right now, I don't think we could actually, actually with, with pulverizers, I think we can. Um, let's test it out. We don't have any patterns. We need to make a pattern grid. Uh, but if we go like this, or not like this. Yeah, yeah that'll actually work. So we don't need to do that. Cool. We just need to run power. Next week we can put the, the conduit uh, facade. But this is now set up. We can do cool things. So let's go ahead and make a pattern grid. Pattern grid. Terminal, okay. There we go. Oh, so we need a normal crafting terminal again. Okay. These are kind of making these. There we go. We made two of them. <gasps> oh, no. Really? All right. Got to make some more this. If we just put it here, will that, will that get power? Okay, we'll see. Uh, let's get some diamonds. Here, I'm going to make it off camera. I'll be right back. All right, so we have the pattern terminal. I was able to actually use the uh, the acceleration wand on the the inscriber thing, so that was really cool. Uh, so what we can do is put the interface here. So we go like that. We go like this. Come on down here. Go like that, and that will connect up. So now we can access all the interfaces down there. It's gonna be, or should we put that in the middle? We might, we'll put that in the middle later. Um, we also need to make some anchor. Okay, so we do have these, cool. Let's go get that laboratory block, that's not the right way. Let's go get the laboratory block that fell down. Where did we grab it? No, it's right here, okay. Cool. All right, so let's head on over here. And then we can go like this, place these around town, and bam, check it out. So if we go like this, poof, there we go. Now we can access all of the, this is with a pattern terminal. Oh, yeah. So we make, oh, man, this isn't the right terminal. No. We need ME interface terminal. This one here. Okay. Uh. Look at that, we have an ME interface, cool. All right, so we do have it. Let's go ahead and swap them out. So this is not the one, maybe. What if we just added both of them here, like this? And then here, we just, should be, you never even knew. Okay, cool, so we have molecular, molecular assemblers and then we have the pulverizer. So now we can have access to all of the terminals we need. So let's go ahead we're gonna, need to, we're gonna need to make some patterns. This guy right here, pretty neat. Yes, we made 17 of them, that's good. The cool thing is we can make the patterns over here so we don't have to go all the way back over there just to make a pattern. So cool, Um, so dust. Do we have nether quartz dust? Cool. So we can go actually we're going to make this out of surface quartz dust. So let's go like this. Come on down here. We'll throw some of you in there. Yeah, so it receives and sends in the back. Very, very cool. I I totally forgot about that because I'm used to processing automatically. So I am messed up. I'm sorry. So we're going to grab one of these. So one of these equals, let's grab some dust. One of these guys. So one to one. Now that's automated. Or put it in here. Now it's automated. We can request that when we run out. So let's go here like this. Dust. Um, let's go ahead and stop the production of this real quick. And the cool thing is, so after this is built, we can still access all of the terminal, all of the patterns and stuff like that through this little interface. So we'll, we probably won't ever have to go down there other than for maintenance. So that's why we put it up here. We're actually going to put them in the center over there eventually. Um, so yeah, so that has been made. Let's go ahead and dust. So let's take it all out like that. And look, you see craft, like a hundred of them. Oh, we need to make some crafting CPUs. I totally forgot. 
We're gonna make just one of these. Okay, so we need to make these guys here. So let's make one of these. We need to go over here. We'll make two of these so we can craft two things at once. Actually, we're gonna need to make four because we're gonna have co-crafting things. Okay, so we're gonna make two 1K. Oh, wait. How many of these do I have? Oh, I only have one 4K. Okay, so it looks like we're just making one 4K and a co-processing unit. I don't actually know what the co-processing unit is for. I think it makes the crafting a little bit faster. Like it holds two items. I'm not actually sure. Um, but we'll put like, like this whole wall will be like full of processing units, stuff like that. Uh, so just for the time being, we're going to put these guys right here. Just for now, just for now. And so if we go here like this to the dust and we want to make 100, we go like this and it will start to craft. And it should fill up all the way to 64 and then a few over. But yeah, so now we have auto automation. We have auto, auto crafting. Isn't that neat? How neat is that? So yeah, anything we want to like normally craft. So say um, if we want to auto craft these guys. So we want to auto craft steel. Oh, we got to set it with the right thing. Okay, let's try that again. Um, steel ingot. So let's let's get steel automated. And then, boom! Steel is now automated. Whenever we request steel, we'll make it. Uh, so let's talk about maybe some... We won't be able to make these just yet. Um, let's see here. Allow substitutions. Cool. So we won't have to use... Actually, no. We don't want to use the pure service quartz. We just want to use the normal service quartz. So for... The, shoot. So for this one... Prevent substitution, so it only allows surface quartz in. If you had a, a material like glass, and uh, did I not grab the pattern? Oh, I crafted one of them. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> say you had like a, a a recipe that needed uh, that could use several different types of glass, say like a few like stained or stuff like that. You would enable this, which would allow substitutions of input as long as they were the same thing, and then it would allow it to craft. But if you didn't Say if you had uh, a million white stained glass, but you needed six glass to craft one thing, it wouldn't use any of that. It would have to make its own, say if you had that automated. So that's the difference. <clears throat> but uh, we got into automation, guys. So I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, please make sure you hit that like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. But guys, it's been Super Turtle, and I am glowing. I must be pregnant. I'm just kidding. All right, see you later. Bye-bye.